Daddy, tell me, are the seasons the same everywhere? Hmm? Come on, you know nothing is the same anywhere on Earth. Take the time. Have you ever heard of time zones? Oh, I know, Misha, Misha! I'll carry on. A day is the amount of time needed for the Earth to spin round on its axis, and this period is divided into 24 hours. The sun doesn't rise at the same time everywhere on the planet, but bit by bit from east to west. That's why the Earth is split into 24 time zones. OK! Now, as for the seasons... Oh, I know, I know, me, I know! Ah, 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 no, uh, he knows! The sun always lights half of the Earth, but as the Earth is tilting, the length of day and night varies according to where you live. In other words, depending on how close to the poles and the equator you are. The equator is the line that cuts the Earth in two, like this grapefruit. Good demonstration, whoops. And that depends on the position of the Earth in its orbit. And given that the orbit is oval in form, then the Earth can be nearer to or further from the Sun. Central heating! And these variations are the reasons why we have seasons. The seasons are the same in the northern hemisphere as in the southern one, but with a six-month lag. When it's summer there, it's winter here. So you get snow in the summer. And Father Christmas in shorts. <laughs> to separate one season from the other, there are very special days called either a solstice or an equinox. For example, in Europe, summer starts with the solstice on the 21st of June, which is the longest day of the year. Sounds like holiday time. But... On the other hand, an equinox is when the day and the night are exactly the same length. That's to say 12 hours each. Spring starts with an equinox around March the 21st. Ha-ha! <laughs> That's springtime! <laughs> around September the 23rd is the autumnal equinox. Oh! Here's autumn. But it's important to know that there are some very special regions on Earth. When we get close to the North or South Poles, there are weeks in the summer when the sun never sets. The day lasts for several days. And in winter, there are weeks when the sun doesn't rise. So a night lasts for several nights. And at the North Pole? Well, at the North Pole, there are six months when you never see the sun and another six when it's out all the time. What about the equator? At the equator, you always have 12 hours of night and 12 hours of day every day. And at noon, the sun is always in the same place, directly above our heads. In tropical and equatorial regions, there are only two seasons in general. A dry season and a rainy season. But amongst all that, I think there's a season you've forgotten about. Uh, the season of love. Well, that's another story. Goodbye! So, are the seasons and days the same everywhere? No, there are hot and cold countries, average length days and nights, or some that are very short or very long. Everything depends on the position of each region on Earth with regards to the sun. <laughs>